Spirituality, the ultimate DIY project. I've been kind of sparked by a couple of YouTubers that I follow in their travels, and um, also a little research on my own. This is really a follow-up to to my losing my religion video. If you haven't watched that, perhaps you should watch that first. Not that it's that big a deal. Also, perhaps listen to my uh, Darshan video, because I'll refer to that later on, too. But, I, would, I was looking at some excerpts from a book called um, Confessions of a God Seeker by Ford Johnson. And in a book that was kind of an excerpt from a book that was an answer to that book. A little more sy sympathetic answer to uh, to that path. That and, uh, like I said, these other two YouTubers I've been following, I don't know, I just had some thoughts I was thinking about. I, I couldn't sleep this morning too well. A late call last night, I'm on call. So, I don't know, I just got up early and jotted some stuff down. And, you know, I'm no one to really tell anything, tell anyone about anything. I'm no great realized master, but um, at least for some of my thoughts. Any spiritual teacher can only teach you through the vessel he has. And ultimately, he has to speak through his mind. He has to speak through his ego. And of course, I'm using he as a he or she throughout here. They can only give you a, a dimmed, flawed insight into spirituality. At best, they can spark your interest, point the way, and, and get you inspired to moving on it. But ultimately, they can only reach you via their ego. And I don't care how enlightened they are, how much they've experienced, they have to reach you through the tools that they have. Um, I can't make you a YouTube via spirit, no one can. You can only do it through what we have. Our mind, our body, etc. A religion and spiritual practice such as Buddhism can be enlightening, but only if you don't get too wrapped up in them. And what I mean by that is pretty much what I just said in the last. You know, they can point the way, they can get you sparked, but they, they can't really teach you how to be spiritual. They, they can't give you the spiritual experience through words. If, if there is a true Vaiguru, um, light giver, you know, perhaps I'm not going to throw that possibility out. I've, I haven't really met one. I, I've heard stories of them. I've had a brief experience, if you see my Darshan video very brief experience. So I know these people are out there, but what happens with these people, what happens with any path or any teacher or any master ultimately is the followers cling to them. And they want more and more and more and it forces out the dogma. It forces out answers to questions that people should really answer for themselves. It forces the master or teacher to teach with his mind or he can't really teach with his spirit directly. He has to work through his ego. So the more you uh, lean on these paths, the more you're going to get the dogma, the more you're going to get their personal prejudices. It's uh, Spirituality is something you can't get at a store. You can't get off a shelf. You, you can't get through a master's teachings, at least not directly. Like I said, these things can be helpful, but you use the crutch too long and it becomes a trap. Um, so don't get wrapped up in the trappings. That, I don't use that word uh, as a throwaway. They really are trappings.
in the long run, you get wrapped up in the bullshit. You you lose the you know you lose the essence when you demand too much detail. Oh man, we all do this. You know, the only true the only teachings that I can see that really don't do this to some degree is, is a shamanic teaching. But um how many of us are really daring enough to do that? Take the fly amana and uh mentia or um super big dose of uh you know, whatever hallucinogen or whatever you're gonna take and have that near death experience. Yeah, I've done a little bit of that. I've I had the near death experience via a shaman and via uh, my own brush with death through uh, meningitis a number of years ago. And that experience works in one way in that it frees you from your ego, at least temporarily. And once freed from the ego you can kind of see it for yourself a little bit. And that's what anybody who's had a real strong uh, psychedelic trip or uh, near-death experience has had a taste of being free from a uh, little bit from your ego. Now I don't really recommend you have <laughs> necessarily uh, poison yourself or uh, go through that drama. It'll probably happen to you if it needs to happen to you. Anyway, if you go chasing that you're probably gonna get trapped up in that as well. This world is uh, nothing but a series of trappings and traps the spirit. It's kind of our game to work around them and uh, do what we will to see what we can. So that's about it. Just that these uh, paths, religions, experiences, practices, meditation, what have you, they can get you started. They can inspire you. They can help you to some extent, but ultimately, spirituality is the ultimate DIY project. No one can do it for you. No one can tell you, in your words, in a way that'll mean something to you. There is no meaning. There is no thing, as a, a tuber was saying about out-of-body experiences. There is nothing out there. She was saying. There really is nothing. Spirit is nothing. You can't grab it. You can't hold it. You can't. You got to go to the well yourself. You got to look up the channel yourself. You got to look into spirit yourself with your own spiritual eyes and um, experience what you can. Even with a channeled master, you're, you're not getting free of their ego. You may see less ego or a different type of ego, but you're, you're not really free of ego. There's some great insights there. They all kind of have a similar ring to them if you listen to a few different ones. Not to put anybody down. Um, and certainly there's great insights to be had there. So I guess I'm saying use all these things as inspiration. Don't use them as a crutch. Don't get too wrapped up in them. Getting too wrapped up in any one path is a mistake, in my opinion. Getting too wrapped up, too one-pointed, um, thinking that with your own, letting your own ego uh, convince you that you've found it. Um, it's a trap. It's all traps. You know, in my humble opinion, we, we wouldn't be in this experience if we had the answers. We're here to have the experience, to have have the insights, to have the uh, tough knocks. No one can do your work for you. 
you, you really have to find it for yourself. Yes, love can help, but too much emotional attachment is just another trapping. And I uh, won't get into a big discourse of the different natures of different types of love and all that stuff. But don't be lazy. Do it for yourself. Spirituality, the ultimate DIY project. Thanks.